Okay, now, take your feet facing this way, and you're looking at this tennis ball. It's coming to get you. Okay, so I really pride myself in my research in my interviews and I was looking at your Instagram and I saw in your highlights you still have your college offers. Is that like spiritual? Is that supposed to mean something or was that just an accident? No, I, I, I kept it on there um, just to kind of show my journey. Um, I still have some of my high school photos up there. So just for someone who, you know, doesn't know me and maybe a kid who watches me play one time and it's like, hey, mom, hey, dad, I want to be like him. You know, he can look at my page and be like, this is his journey and this is what he's kind of gone through to get to where he is now. And I think, you know, it's super impactful, especially for the new, new generation. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. Well, 90 plus uh, USA athletes. So just as a fan of sports, as a fan of the Olympics, uh, obviously as a member of the basketball team. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Crazy thing is, I, I think this was my senior year in high school. I think I was uh, on a family vacation in Brazil, which is wild. I remember exactly. I don't remember those sunglasses, though, and the fact that I don't have any facial hair or much hair up top. But solid 18-year-old solid vibes right here. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, which media day are we on, boss, man? <laughs> this is uh, 16 slash 1. <laughs> a little more sway on the left and right there. Yeah, yeah, perfect. We get up a little bit more so we get that flare. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You guys got it. You guys got it. Yes, come over. So there's a college basketball team here, and I'm taller than most of the players, and whenever they run into me, they're all like, oh, do you play basketball? And I'm like, no, why would you think that?
肯定你是出来拍照的呀。对啊。I like the mentality. Whether it whether it turns into eight or ten, who knows? But uh, I want uh, Wiggs shooting, you know, six, seven threes a game. I want Brandon. I want Moses. I want uh, DeAnthony. I, I want to be a high volume you know, three point shooting team. I think that's important for us. Um, and the big shift is uh, is you know it's plays not here, right? So. We were fourth in the league in three-point attempts last year, but um, Clay probably shot eight or ten of them himself every game. So we're going to have to fill that void, and that's going to come from multiple people. The NBA lost a legend yesterday in Dikembe Mutombo. Just talk about what Yeah, so he's been uh, you know, a coach who uh, has relied on movement and flow. He, he you know, taught his teams in Portland to play with a lot of rhythm, but with a little more structure. So it's one of the reasons I brought him here. We, we believe in the same kind of basketball, the movement and, and the ball, uh, changing sides. Uh, but he's, um, he's been around this league a long time. He's got great ideas. He's a great teammate. Uh, I'm thrilled that Terry's here, and uh, he'll really help him out. So. Honestly, I think there's competition across the board because it's not as simple as uh, who's the two. It's It's got to be... Who's the five? Who's the four? Um, we know Steph's the one. Um, you know, um, what's the combination? You know, last year we spent a lot of the year unable to play certain combinations and searching for combinations that fit. And so the starting lineup is going to have to be dependent not only on the first five fitting, but the second five fitting as well. So I think we've got a lot of work to do to figure out. Uh, lineups and um, all the guys can do is just compete, play their ass off, and good things will happen for them if they do that. But it's up to us as coaches to figure out the puzzle. Are you? Hey, Jonathan, it's Gary Payton from the Warriors. Um, how was day one of training? It was great. It was great. Uh, it was great. Uh, you know, it was great. Uh, 
working a lot of things, a lot of new things. New uh, terminology. A lot of things, new terminology on defense and offense. Uh, that's going to be a uh, good part this year. I love it. All right. <laughs> like I said, I uh, know I've been on this team for three years. Uh, there is never a position I haven't played on this team. Uh, so that really am my biggest concern. No, at the end of the day, I know I'm a small forward, and I could do it. I could play at the highest level. Uh, but just going forward, you know, it's all about what, what the team wants you to do for, for them to win, you know, to help the team win. So it don't matter, small forward, whatever, whatever position it is, you know, I'm just going to get better at it and just go out there and do it. How do you view kind of the versatility of this front court with, with you know, Trace's kind There's not much you can really um, take away per se. It's just a matter of trying to learn as much with the, the few installs that we put on defense and offense. Guys compete. You got to get your chemistry with talking. That's that's a big vibe for us, especially the young guys coming in to find their voice. Us, uh, us vets being able to you know set the tone. So I think we check that box, but. Um, you know, we got marginally better just by, you know, trying to focus on the things we were learning on both ends, and uh, we'll build off of that. Well, the success comes from just staying hungry, just and enjoying basketball. Like, I love the place, my happy place, besides so being at home with my family. Um, and this is where I find the most joy, so and, uh, I appreciate you knowing that the game will end at some point, hopefully not too soon, but I get motivated by just trying to get the most out of it I can. Uh, I love the work, I love the camaraderie, I love the competition. Uh, the business of the game is, is, is heavy that you get deep into your career with the expectations, but when you get into a season, this is just the fun part. So. Thank you.